Hey everybody, welcome to part 16 of building the R2-D2 from Fan Home. Now in this video we're going to be covering stage 59 and 60, 61, and 62. So it looks like we're finally going to finish off this leg. Uh, as I mentioned previously, I'm, I'm kind of tired of working on the legs. I think this is the last part of it, the power pack that goes on here. We're going to start focusing now more on the head, which is great. So we've got a, a, one of the large panels right there. There's one of the nice trapezoid-shaped ones. That's where that little uh, uh, holographic projector is going to go on the top of his head. We've got some leg plugs. We also have the uh, metal, oh, I think it's like the little coupler thing in the middle of his leg, some more head panels there, and then some more of the top of the head panels as well. So this is really cool. Before we get started, I wanted to address all the magazines that are starting to build up now. So we are well over the halfway point at this point in the build, and there is no binders or anything to put all these magazines in. At least with the Enterprise, uh, they provided a binder to put all your instruction magazines in. So I don't know if Fan Home has a binder that they're going to send later, but at this point in the build, I would think they would have sent it by now. So I'm going to have to take care of this problem myself. So I went on Amazon and I found these magazine holders by a company called Bomb Gardens, and you can check them out here. You get 12 per package, and since there's going to be 100 magazines, I had to buy nine of these. So you'll have about eight of them left over, but this is what they look like. They're these little plastic things that you can see here. You just slide the magazine through this long slot right here, and then you just put the, uh, the holes where uh, you can put them inside of a binder to hold all your magazines. So I think that should work out pretty good. So the way this is going to work is you'll find the middle page where you can see the staples right there. And then you'll slide this in here. Now this barely fits. I, in fact, I kind of wish these were maybe about another millimeter or two millimeters. It doesn't need much, but you know, it just barely, barely fits right here. I mean, they work just fine, but they do barely fit. So you're going to have to slide this on here like this. And then, when you get it to the middle, you have to kind of finagle with this, get it in there. But once you get it in the center, you're ready to go to put it in a binder. All right, so I'll show you what that looks like. So this is the binder that I'm using. I found this on Amazon as well. As you can see, it is very thick. It's got a very tall section of rings right in here. So it should be able to hopefully hold all 100 magazines when we're done. I hope. <laughs> I hope we don't have to buy another one of these. So we'll unlock these, and then we just pull these apart like that. All right, and then your magazine with the little plastic thing on it, you just put these on the rings like that, and you're good to go. So you'll start putting each and every one of these on here. Um, of course, you might have to go this way, actually, so that you can just keep adding them on and then flip them over. That's probably the better way to do it like that because this is magazine one two three four and so on and then you'll lock these up like this and then you can lock these and then you can just flip everything over to the other side like that so i'll put a link in the in the uh, description for from amazon for this binder and also the uh the holders so that you can maybe use these for yourself, unless you guys want to do some other method. And there's also a clear spot here so you can put pictures in here. Maybe I'll put a picture of R2-D2 on the cover of this so I know what it is. Okay, so they are now all in here. And this is a great way to organize all this. But you can see here that these filled up really quick. Uh, this is full. I'm going to have to buy another one of these. So I already ordered another one now. I think what I might do, this is um, magazines 1 through 58. I haven't put the last four in here from for this video, but I think I'll just do 50 in book 1 and 50 in book 2. I'll just separate them evenly, but yeah, that is that is a lot of magazines right there. And I can tell you that this thing weighs a ton. <laughs> this is great. So now you can thumb through these, and if you need to use them as reference or something, you can go through here and check things out, or maybe recheck something that you built earlier. And it's all in there, so a great way to organize all that. Here's the magazine for issue 59. Let's see, looking busy, going nowhere. <laughs> uh, looks like they're still working on um, Return of the Jedi, I'm guessing. Actually, it looks like Empire Strikes Back. Kind of jump around in these magazines. 
Uh, like I said, I don't really pay attention much to these magazines. I'm mostly just interested in the instructions. <laughs> but I do like the real world science like they show here. That's kind of cool. Modular robotics. Hmm. That's pretty wild. All right, so uh, let me see. We're going to be doing the dome panel and left fuel cell parts. And uh, we're going to finally finish off this leg. I, I'm so glad to finally finish off these legs. Going to be adding another, that big long dome panel on there. Looks like they just kind of skipped ahead on that. I just kind of tell you to put it in there. <laughs> it's kind of funny how they did that. But okay, so uh, yeah, we can finally get hopefully finished with this leg. Here are the parts that we get for stage 59. So here is that power pack. Really love these pieces. Get the two halves for that. We got the little um, connector things on the front that go on there. Those are nicely painted blue right there. We got some more hole fillers. This nice metal panel, one of those nice uh, longer ones. Once again, these pieces are uh, painted really good. And then a couple more pieces of tape. All right, so we'll get started on that. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is put that panel on. Now, as I mentioned in the last episode, this dome is a little out of round. And as you can see, this panel doesn't quite fit on here. See how there's a gap right here? I'm hoping that this will fill in uh, once we get that core on here, but, you know, it keeps popping out. So I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. I tried to, I don't know if I should bend this in a little bit, but then I'm scared I'm going to mess it up. So we'll just kind of leave it like that for now. And if I have to glue that down, I'll do that. But anyway, uh, to save some time, I'm going to go ahead and take these pieces of tape off. I already went and put these on, and uh, we'll go and peel these off. This one up here, you have to kind of break it into two pieces because uh, it's a long piece, but if you try to stretch it around this weird curve, um, it, uh, it's going to hang over on one side or the other. So you're going to have to cut it in half. All right, so there we go. And now we can put that long panel on this side okay so let's see once again we put the numbers on the top as i learned kind of later on through this process so now let's see if we can get this on here uh let me see yeah you really have to get these on straight because um the gut the uh tape is very strong and if you don't get it on there right it's not going to look right for the rest of the time that you have your R2-D2, so. And there's kind of like a little border around the edge. There's like a silver border. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. All right, well. Seems like it hangs over a little bit more on this side. All right, well, let me make sure that's in properly. Okay, there we go. <laughs> A little tricky putting those on, but see how there's kind of like a, this little gap right in here? And then you got that silver border around that blue. So you really have to try to get that even, and because there's just a little bit of space between there, as you can see there and there, it's really hard to kind of make those as perfect as you can get it. But all right, well, at least we got that on there. Okay, so now back to work on this leg. So we got to fill in these holes, uh, these three here and the three on the other side. So we have these hole uh, plugs. I already cut two of these off. I'm just using these sprue cutters to get these off because it uh, makes a nice clean cut without a, um, without a little bit hanging off or anything like that. So let's get these off of here. And we're going to fill in six of those holes. I, I always like filling in those things because uh, they don't look very good. <laughs> All right. So let's go and get the leg over here. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one right here. Just push those in. Those fill in really nice, I gotta say. Got this one here. And this one. That one's kind of loose. Hmm. I don't want to lose those. I may have to glue some of those in. I'm not sure yet. And then we got this one. This one. And this one. It's kind of satisfying pushing those in. <laughs> All right, there's those six. 
Okay, now we got these other two here. Now these ones have a different shape to them because they got to fit on that uh, that curve of the foot. All right, so let's work on that. So right down here, see how this has got a bit of a curve to it like that? So now we got to make sure we get these angled right. See how these have that curvature to it? Let's make sure we get these in straight. And that way we get the curve right. Okay. All right, good, good. Do this one. the right angle on here. All right. Very good. A little worried about that, this one up here. It's kind of loose. I may have to put a little bit of glue on those just to make sure they stay on, but there we go. Okay, now next we're going to work on this power pack. So we're going to put this piece here onto this part, and this just snaps in place. Let's get the holes lined up and just snap it in like that nice okay now we bring the leg back in okay now let's see which way does this go uh, let's see so where are those couplers so these are the couplers here this has got to go this way so we're gonna put this around the motor and the holes here have to match up with these little uh, lug things right there and uh, just line it up there we go okay and then we screw them in now there's no screws that came with this uh, set of parts and um, hmm, I don't think this screwdriver is magnetized I uh, got a brand new screwdriver here alright let me magnetize this real quick okay there we go so now we'll start with this hole here and uh, not sure how good this screwdriver is. This is the first time I'm using it. Hmm. All right. Well, it seems to be working. Maybe I don't know. I don't think it's quite the right size. All right. Well, there we go. Now there's a uh, three more. So let me get those put in. Okay. So now those are all screwed in place. So the next part now is the other half of the uh, power box. So we're going to put this other piece on here now. Once again, these just kind of snap in place. Just like that. Very nice. Okay, and then we bring this back in. And we're just going to put this right on top of here. Oh, I love how that fits. Okay, and then we have uh, four screws. I had to use this screwdriver. I bought two different ones. So this is a different one now, <laughs> but this one seems to fit the screws a little better. So now we'll go ahead and put this in here. Okay. And then there's three more and then we'll get all that put together. Okay. So those are now all in place. So next we are going to bring these out again from the last time. These are those really nice braided copper tubes. God, I love these things. And these are going to go on the front now. Um, I uh, these things fit really loose. I mean, you'll see here. This just it doesn't even like. I mean, it, it just it doesn't even fit in there. It just comes right out. So I'm going to end up gluing these. So let me uh, let me drag out some super glue here. So let's start with this top one. Let's see which is what's a good angle we can do this right here. I think. All right. So let me get this. Uh, glue started. Oh, there it goes right there. Okay, so we'll just put some glue in here. And put this first one in. And then that first one goes um, into this nearest hole right here. Let's get some glue going in here. Try to squeeze it out of here. Okay, and we'll just bend this down. Sorry if I was out of K 
camera range there. Let's see, here we go. I mean, there is a little bit of uh, tension on there, but yeah, I don't trust those staying in place. <laughs> All right, let's do this one. Get this glue started again. This glue might be almost empty. I've got this kind of squeeze kind of trigger thing going on here. This is nice. But it looks like I might be out of glue here. Oh, there's a little bit more. Okay. Go ahead and put this one in. And then we'll do this one. Okay. Oh, good. There is still some glue in this. Okay, now put this one in. I really like these cables. These are really cool. Alright, there we go. Yeah, see, look how nice that is. That looks so good. Alright, so I'm going to let those dry. But that is it for uh, stage 59. Alright, so we can move on now. Here's the magazine for issue 60. See, shooting for visual effects. Oh, that's very cool. Yes, I do love special effects in movies, but I kind of like the old school stuff compared to the uh, computer stuff they do nowadays. But uh, well, that's kind of neat. You can see Kenny Baker on there in a Ewok costume. He played Ewoks and droids. More animated series or prequel type of things going on here. Not familiar with any of that. that that's a cool looking robot right there. Robotics in China. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of robotics going on in uh, Japan and China. All right, so let's see. Dome fittings and leg parts. So it uh, doesn't look like there's much to do on this stage. This is going to be one of those stages where there's not much to do. Um, looks like we're going to be dragging out some parts from a while ago. We're finally going to plug up those holes, the screw holes in the leg. And uh, I don't know why they don't have us filling these holes yet. It's kind of weird. I still have the plugs from the other leg from I don't know how long ago it was. So I'm going to go ahead and fill those up even though they don't tell you to now because I hate having all these parts laying around. <laughs> Here are the parts that we get for stage 60. So now we're going to finally have one of our first head pieces that go on the top of R2's head. This is the one that contains the uh, holographic projector on there. It's kind of an interesting looking piece. This is metal. This is a really nice metal piece. It's got some weight to it. I'm guessing that's probably where the leg connects to the body. Uh, a little wire here and some more hole plugs. All right, so let's get started on these. Okay, so this is pretty simple here. Now we're going to drag this piece out again. I don't remember what stage we assembled all of this. This is the logic lights and it's a really nice uh, little screens in here that have the lights. So on the back here, we've got this connector plug. And then we got this new wire that we got in this set of parts. So there's a wider uh, connector here and then the narrower one. So we're just going to put this in here. Now, uh, let's see, once again, we got to match up the pins. See those little pins in there? You don't want to bend those up. So you got to make sure you put them in the right way. You just plug this in. They had us uh, have another cable on here before to test it, but I guess it's the official one we're going to use. Okay, so now we're going to finally be able to fill in all these holes on the back of the leg. So they gave us this big sprue of these hole plugs. So uh, let me cut off the rest of these. And I think we're going to use 10 of them, all 10 of these. These are made of rubber, by the way, in case you couldn't tell by the flexibility of this stuff. So they're kind of neat, and they clip off really nice. All right, so let's fill in all these holes. Let's start with the top of the leg here. So we're just going to fill in all of these. Hopefully these fit in pretty tight. I did have to glue that one that I was mentioning earlier. I really like these. They just give it a nice finished look. And you don't have the unsightly looking uh, screw holes in there. I mean, you're not going to see probably some of these anyway, but... It's nice that they, um, so I want to make sure I'm getting all of the ones that I'm supposed to. These ones here. It's nice that they, uh, you know, fill them in anyway. 
Now these ones are different and we'll discuss that in a minute. Let's see this one here. And I think these other ones here too. Let's check here. Sorry, I'm completely out of camera view here. There we are. And then we got these. These ones are kind of weird. They're kind of inset. Let's see if I can get it in there. There we go. These are really cool. I like them. They fit in there good because they're rubber, so they just kind of conform to everything. All right, there we go. It looks nice finished look to it. Here's the magazine for stage 61. Burnout. Hmm. Hmm, looks like they were talking about how they were kind of getting stressed out <laughs> filming those movies. I don't doubt that at all. Those movies had to be a huge undertaking to film. But boy, did they pay off. Look how old those movies are now and we're still watching them, enjoying them, talking about them, building models from them. <laughs> I mean, I certainly enjoyed them, especially uh, when those came out. I was the right age demographic for that audience. <laughs> uh, some military stuff going on there. That's really cool. Let's see, dome fittings and leg parts. Okay, so we got some more, uh, more panels to put on. I, we're getting uh, pretty close to finishing up the dome panels here which is great. Uh, I think we only have like the top part of the head after these I think. I'm not sure. We'll have to take a look at all of that. Looks like we're filling in more holes there for the screw holes. So all right well I guess we'll go ahead and get started with that. Here are the parts that we get for stage 61. So we have another one of these hefty lugs. Uh, we didn't use the one in the other set so we got two of these now. So I'm not. they must come up later I guess. Uh, a couple of nice metal panels here, you can see. That's going to be where those logic lights go. And then it's got this really small metal panel here as well, so that's really cool. I like that they're metal. Uh, these are those special plugs because they got that little angle on them right there. Some screws, there's two different screws here. There's some short ones and long ones. And then a couple more pieces of tape. Alright, so we're going to use these hole plugs. So let me go ahead and cut these off. You know, what's interesting about these is when I was working on the uh, right leg, if you guys were still watching back then, um, I noticed that they did not provide one of these that has this angle on it. And I actually had to take one of the round ones and just slice it with a, an X-Acto blade. So uh, it's kind of funny how they didn't do it on that one, but here they are doing it on this one. <laughs> Maybe they figured it out later. So as you'll notice, this hole See how, it's got a, see how it's got a flat side to it right there? And so I couldn't get the round ones to fit on the originals. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do this now. So at least they uh, finally got us the correct shaped plugs. So you just got to make sure you get the flat side lined up right there. Okay, and then here's the other one. Goes in. Get it lined up. And uh, there we go. Nice. Okay, that fills in all the holes, at least for the main part of the leg. Back to work on the dome now. We're going to put two more panels on the inside of the dome. So I went ahead and put the tape on, so let me go ahead and peel these off. Now the one up here, I actually had to cut that a little bit shorter because it was too long. Um, so you're, you're going to have to cut that one down. So there we go, those are ready to go. And then, let's turn this around. I should also mention, I did have to finally glue this. Notice how there's glue in here. This panel, uh, if, if you'll recall in the last video, I had a hard time getting this one to stay flat because I think the dome is slightly bent right in here. It's a little out of round. And it kept popping off and um, I finally put some uh, super glue in there and a little kicker and that really got it to stay in place and it made this panel fit better also than we did earlier. All right, so anyway. At least that has been resolved. All right, so now we're going to put this little panel here, the numbers once again at the top. <clears throat> and then uh, let me see if I can get this on here. Thankfully, this is a nice small panel. And that one fits nice and easy because it is small. And then we have this one. This is where those logic lights are going to go. Numbers at the top once again. And... Uh, these are much easier to put in than the, the uh, large panels. Those large ones are a little bit on the tricky side. 
Uh, let's see, nice and square. Good, good, okay. Let me turn this around, push these down a little bit, just to make sure these are in there good and, good and tight. Uh, sorry, the light's not, it's so hard to film on the inside of the dome, I gotta, I gotta say. Uh, let me see here. Just wanna press these down so that we've got good adherence, adhesion. <laughs> All right, look at that. That looks really, really cool. All right, so that's it for stage, uh, what are we on, 61. <laughs> Here's the magazine for issue 62. Model making part one, starships. Oh man, yeah, that's cool. Love the models. I still think models are better than CGI, but of course, some people would disagree. But, you know, models are real, and they look real on screen. And, uh, yeah. Oh, look at that, BB-8, Astromech. I, I love BB-8. <laughs> He's such a cool little robot. But I love robots in general. Looks like some kind of a comic there. Oh, that's neat. Or some kind of animated thing. I certainly haven't kept up with a lot of the latest Star Wars stuff. Let's see, arm design. Hmm. It's kind of cool. All right, so let's see. We're going to be doing some more dome um, panels. So now we're going to start putting on those trapezoid-shaped pieces down here. That's going to be neat. Filling in the top part of the head now. I think we're almost completely finished doing the uh, circumference of the dome, as far as I can tell. So that's really cool. Yeah, it's fun to be working on a different part of his body. Oh, look at that. We're going to be dragging out that this part. We haven't messed with that in a long time. So we'll be putting some parts on there, too. All right, well, good. Always happy to make more progress on this. Here are the parts that we get for stage 62. So now we're going to be putting on the nice top panels on R2. These are nice metal panels as well. Um, another metal panel here. I think we're getting pretty close to almost completing the panels on R2's head, which is really cool. Uh, this is a nice little, I'm not sure what it is. It's a bracket for either the camera or the holograph uh, projector, I think. This one's plastic. This one's metal. That's a really nice piece also. We also have all kinds of pieces of tape. We got these straight ones, and we also got these cool curved ones, which I wish they would have provided for the... Uh, other panels on the dome that would have made it a little easier, but this is great. All right, well, let's get started. Okay, so once again, I got the tape started here. Now, you're going to use the two longer pieces because it's got to go across both these panels here. So let's go ahead and take this tape off. And put, take that one off there. All right, so now let's take that short panel that we got in this set of parts, and let's turn this around. Uh, right here and once again we look for the numbers on the top you can see it kind of favors that side you can kind of tell it's angled too all right so let's go ahead and put this on uh, let me see here make sure I'm in camera I will say putting these smaller panels on is oops right when I'm saying it is <laughs> so much easier uh, there we go. Get that good and straight there. All right. Now, this is really interesting. This panel here, this is a panel that we got back on stage one. Stage one. I've had this panel sitting around for over a year, and we're just now finally going to use it. Now, why did they send this so early on in the kit? It just makes no sense why they did that, and that's kind of the way that these kits are. You get some of these parts and it's just uh, you know way sooner than you really need to but we're finally going to use it after this has been sitting around for over a year we're finally gonna put this panel on okay so let me uh, flip this over just want to make sure I press these down good you know, keep in, keep everything in camera here <laughs> All right. Kind of interesting how that one has a little bit of an extra little bit here. Oh, actually, it looks like they kind of lock in, don't they? That's cool the way they did that. All right, so we'll just make sure those are in there. But this is great. So, um, yeah, we're really 
Actually, I think this uh, this now that now takes care of the entire circumference of R2's head. You can see all the panels are all in there now. Oh yeah, that's great. Ah, that looks fantastic. All right, so on to the next step. Next, we're going to install the trapezoid-shaped pieces up here. Now, you'll see I already installed the tape, so uh, you have to kind of pay attention to this little keyed part right here to orientate yourself to where these go. But once you put, uh, put them on where they're supposed to go, then you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and uh, peel these off. And um, it, it's pretty time-consuming to put these on. That's why I just kind of try to cut to this point where we can just kind of... <laughs> that way you don't have to suffer watching me put those pieces of tape on. Um, the tape that goes on these parts right here, you have to be really careful because it's uh, the same width as that, as that piece right there. So you don't want the tape hanging over. So make sure you uh, get it as straight as you possibly can because you don't want the tape showing through once you put the panels on or at least to minimize it as much as you possibly can let's see we got one more here there we go alright so now let's see let's flip this over and once again you gotta pay attention to this key right here so let me see which way are we gonna turn this uh, let's turn it this way and let me pull out here a little bit because it's a little hard to uh, see what's going on here okay now we're gonna have this piece the one that we have that's got the uh, right here that little cool little opening and that's gonna go in this panel right here right let me make sure yes okay this might be a little bit tricky because I gotta reach down inside here uh, let me see oh, sorry my hands are gonna get in the way it's not gonna be easy to film this um, see if I can get these straight. It's a little give on some of this, so it's really hard to make sure you get it just right. Sorry that my hand's in the way here. Uh, let's see, do I got it? Kind of wish these fit a little bit tighter so that there's not this gap in here. It might be a little bit easier but that actually looks okay all right so let me, let me make sure I got this pressed down in place here it's hard to get the light in here and it's hard to uh, show you guys what's going on but let's just kind of press this in place this one here is kind of loose on that end so I'll have to make make sure that we got this pushed in hmm See, it's not really holding very well, is it? All right, well, let me fumble with this for a minute. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> Got it in place. Next, we're going to take one of these panels now, and we're going to put that one right next to this one. Um, let's see if we can do this now. Uh, let me see. Is it straight? Hmm that in there just right. Actually that looks pretty good right there. Let's flip this over again. Didn't realize it'd be so much harder to do these panels. But uh, I just want to push these in. You don't want to push to a point where you're bending the dome. Don't want any more of that going on. <laughs> kind of wish they would have something because you can see these are going to get screwed in place right here. You can kind of see that. But there's nothing to really hold that on. I guess I could probably put some kind of adhesive on there. But I don't know what's coming next, so I don't want to mess anything up. All right, so that one's in place. Now let's do the next one, which is going to go right here. So this is the same exact panel. All right, get this one in place. Uh, let me see here. Have to use the light to kind of make sure you're getting it on there just right. Let's see. I kind of want to scoot this over just a little bit. My OCD doesn't like 
<laughs> things being crooked. This is really kind of more difficult than I thought. I thought they were, these were just going to go snapping in place, but because of that little bit of space in there, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Yeah, okay, I think that's going to... Hmm, yeah, I don't know, I don't like how that's coming over here. Well, uh, let's see if I can get this straighter. All right, well, this could take a while, so uh, let me cut real quick. Okay, there we go. So now we got all of them in there. So, yes, we are really getting a lot of these panels filled in. Uh, this is starting to get heavy. The, the dome is getting heavy with all these extra added um, panels in here. They're all metal, so it adds to the weight of it. But look at that. That's looking really great. The only thing we're going to have to do now is add in the uh, holographic projector, the electronics, that big sensor on the top, there's a camera behind there. It's getting harder to find a way to grip this because I don't want to push down on the panels. It's going to be an LED screen in there. That's the uh, yellow and green light. And, um, oh no, that's a, that's a uh, holographic projector. That's the yellow and green light. So yeah. All right, well, that's starting to fill in very nicely. Okay, so now here's something we haven't seen for a while, the inner core of the dome. So we're going to be adding a couple of mounts into this. So let's flip this over. Got to look for the, the part that's got the two holes, not these ones. They're too far apart. Uh, oh, here it is. Okay, so the ones that are really close together right here. And then we're going to take this metal mount here. I think this is the camera mount is what this is. And that's going to go, let's see, where is it? On these two holes right here. So let's go ahead and, and you're going to have it this way. Okay, so it's going to go right on here match up the holes and then we're going to take two of the uh, short silver screws and screw this in here okay let's get that in there and uh, let's get another one these screws came with this set of uh, of parts so well, let me see. Let's get this other one in here. Okay. Surprise there's not a nut to hold the uh, other side of it. So there we go. Now that looks like that. That's where the camera is going to get mounted in that big sensor on the front of R2's face. All right. That worked out pretty good. Okay, so um, actually I didn't have one of the screws in tight all the way and that was a little crooked. Now you can see it's straighter now. Okay, so now we're going to do the projector mount. That's what this is. So we're going to take one of the nuts that came with this set of parts and put it in this little thing right here. Uh, there we go, just like that. And now this is going to have to, this is going to be a little tricky too. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see, how am I going to do this? We're going to have to flip this through underneath. And it's got to go next to that camera mount that we just put on. So, uh, I'm not sure how they expected you to do all this. Let's see if I can reach in here. Got to line it up with these holes over here. This is going to be where the projector is going to go. Um, let me see, I'm going to put it right here. And you got to hold that in place because that nut is going to fall out. Sorry that my hand is in the way there. And then see, this is kind of where it goes underneath. So, let me see. I think I got it lined up there. Now let's take one of the silver screws here. And hopefully I've got this lined up. Mm, feels like it. Okay, good. All right, and then we got to repeat the process for that side. Okay, so there it is now in place. It's kind of cool. So on the inside, now you can actually see from this side, uh, see how it's kind of at an angle? I'm guessing that's on purpose. So the projector is going to mount onto these things, I'm guessing, and then show through the holographic projector that's going to go right in this spot. So very, very cool. Okay, now this wasn't part of this parts pack, but this has been driving me crazy. This is R2's right leg, which we finished a while back. But for whatever reason, we never finished filling these holes. I, I have no idea why 
we haven't done that yet. We've got the plugs, but we haven't put these in. And they, I looked back at the instructions, and they never did tell us to put these in, and it's just driving me crazy. So I'm going to put these in, because I think we're pretty much done with this, these uh, legs. So let's trim these off. And uh, finally, once and for all, put these in. I don't know why these kits have these random pieces that you have to have laying around for months or even a year, just like that front panel on R2's head. And they, they never have you... Uh, you know, use it until way further on into the build, which makes no sense. So now see how these ones got that nice curve to it? That's exactly how those fit. So let's get these in here once and for all. Get them aligned up. Okay, and then just push them in there. There we go. Look at that. Okay, here's the other one. Make sure it's in there straight. Just pushing it. Well, that one's kind of loose. I may have to glue that one. Sometimes these are a little bit loose. Okay, let's go to this side. And uh, let me see here. Let's line this one up. See, that fits in there really good. They just kind of pop in. I don't know why. <laughs> I just don't know why we haven't done this step yet. It makes no sense. But, you know... When you're building this kit and kits like it, you'll have parts just laying around forever. These two are kind of loose. I may have to glue those. But see, look at that. Now we finally have this leg absolutely complete. So I don't know what they were waiting on, but I went ahead and did that now. So if we ever get to that part, we can skip it later. Okay, well, there we go. That completes stages 59, 60, 61, and 62. And I am really glad to get these legs done. As I mentioned, uh, it seems like the leg builds go on forever. We're pretty much completely finished with this. The only thing we didn't get are the hole plugs for this uh, power pack here, but the rest of it's all done. So this leg is complete, and the dome is really starting to become a complete thing now. We have almost all the panels on this thing now, and uh, the only thing we have to fill in are these ones, which I'm guessing will be on the next set of parts. And I think one of these has a hinge, this one here, it's got a hinge on it, which also I think we got in uh, stage one as well, which is really goofy. But there we go. We're really getting some more progress done on this, thank goodness, and uh, I'm glad that we can keep on working on it. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this series so far, and if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'd very much appreciate that, and thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next video, and have a good one.